What's up guys, Dante here from East Coast Gridiron here with another high school film review and this time around, got another kid from Lancaster Catholic High School in my neck of the woods, uh, Brandon Way, he reached out to me on Twitter and he said, hey coach, can you look at my film? And I said, absolutely. Uh, so sorry for the guys that, it, that this has taken, you know, several weeks at this time. I've been on vacation and a couple personal things have, have been happening, but we're back on it and Brandon was the first one on the list. So this is on a first come first serve basis. I do not charge to do this service so if anybody's out there that's in high school that wants their film review from a former coach please let me know i will go in and i'll review your film and give you as much pointers as 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 i can this is we're always open and honest with all the dialogue that we have here this is only to make you better the reason why i like this one particularly you know well today is because this guy we're going to watch his sophomore highlights and he's going into his junior year usually i've been getting seniors i did get a couple freshmen you know the first time we started doing this but you know brandon's going to to his junior year so he's really gonna have to start out the gate start getting those offers in and things like that he plays cornerback he's 5'10 160 pounds obviously in high school you know guys are a little bit smaller so i would start hitting the weight room heavy this year man he ran a 4.53, which is excellent playing corner in the class of 2026 so i'm super excited about this looks like he's a two-way athlete as well looks like he plays basketball so obviously that that's going to help out in, in all aspects of the game super excited to get into this one another kid from around the way and um let's just dig right into the film any of the film that i've reviewed before one of the things that i look for especially from a corner and i think he's number two from what his profile says on huddle the kind of things that i look look for most importantly from a corner is the way that he processes information if he got beat one time how does he respond um, understanding the different types of coverages, you know, if a guy's getting an inside release, what are you doing there? Outside release, stick him to the sideline. Um, how he is between the numbers as well. Um, how he is in the run game, how fast he is to the to the punch, how handsy he is. So those are those are the type of things that I'm looking for. Uh, we 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 know that especially him going into his junior year, there's got to be a lot that he's going to improve on. So more so when you're looking at high school film to see how gifted and how naturally talented somebody is on on film so let's go ahead and 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 dig into this one Let me rewind it a little bit here so again it's sophomore sophomore season so we got him okay doing some kickoffs here gets the kickoff shugs the guy off uses his arms as stiff arm and blasts up the field wow nice move right there and gets right up field i like that play a lot brandon that was you know it's sh showing your versatility especially in in the kicker and putt returning game um with your speed that's that's one thing that that should happen right so is this him with the with the handoff I'm a little confused. Um, like looking at this here. Okay, there we go. He's in the backfield. All right, so he's playing a little bit of a running back as well. So it primarily says that he plays corner, but we're going to see a little bit of, uh, you know, his, his running prowess here. All right, takes the handoff, finds the gap. Nice. Nice to focus in on the inside of this play, right? You notice that there's a gap right there in the middle of the field, noticing that your teammate um, over here on, on number three, you know, he's he's only on one guy getting right up the field here, seeing that there's a lot of lot of space here, not a lot of information to process. Your team is pushing obviously this way. Number seven is the only guy that you have to worry about in the middle of the play. So, you know, out, outside of think is it 66 or 65 pushing this guy out you hope that he does his job and you hope that there's inside contain while while you're here really good play and wow i mean one one thing here that that i would like people to notice is like a, a lot of guys when they're in open space they get lazy you know and brandon put on the jets and he's going the whole way his first his first step off the break right here looks exactly like his last step before he gets into the end zone full sprint he knows that he's there you know i obviously you don't want 
too much of a slowdown unless you know for sure <laughs> that that guy's not close to you. But great play all around. Uh, this, the sidelines, you know, a, a lot of guys don't process that. Like these sidelines are, are your best friend, man. Especially if you got somebody that's that's following you. If you start cutting inside, you know, this takes a little speed off. If this guy was right here, you know, on all, you know, somewhere inside, and then they knock that ball out, you got two teammates that are that are you know sitting over there. Um, so use the sidelines to your advantage and make sure when you're ball carrying that. You know, right side is always on the right side. Left side is on the, always on the left side, you know, regardless of, of where you're running. So, you know, it's that right's in the right. Uh, just in case there was a fumble, the ball goes out of bounds. Simple stuff. All right. Now we're getting into a little bit of corner here. All right. So we got a guy really out wide. Some help is coming in the slot here. Gets his hands on him. Contains my goodness this is what we used to call crunch berries this whole play I, I think this guy's a safety on your team here so you know kind of a single high safety this guy's coming down in motion you notice that you stuck your guy and way to keep not only your hands on him so you can free yourself to look just in case in the peak exactly where the, the play is going that's that's one thing that we like to always always teach is like if he's in the arm's length as long as you got fingertips on the guy he really can't get away from you especially you're pushing him on the opposite you know on the sideline you notice that if he's going to cut in he's going to cut in and, and do what he needs to do but this guy is wide open here and their quarterback threw a little bit of a hospital ball because you came in and completely de demantled this guy um, and as you see here the ball came out Brandon, that's that's an awesome play right there. That's that's type of D one stuff that 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 coaches like me try to look for is you honing in on the play, especially helping your teammate out. The safety, you know this, you know you got a safety up high and you got a guy that's that's sprinting to this side. Uh, how, how long is it going to take him to to actually get over there? So you know you being a quicker guy, probably most likely I'm guessing is that you're the quicker guy, and that's why the the other guy's playing safety. Um, you know, you got, you know, let's, let's pretend that this is, you know, the back pylon right here. You, you got hands on this guy. You're, you're constantly pushing him, you know, to the sideline. There's nothing that he can do. And you're looking the opposite way to see what the play is happening. So it's a really good play out of you. A little bit more running back action, a little toss. Toss inside. Nice. Wow, I'm Brandon to, to say that I'm impressed is an understatement. Great vision on that play. Again, consistent speed throughout the run. That's a big asset of yours. Consistent speed, heavy runs, heavy runs, heavy runs, because you don't know what's behind you. You don't have eyeballs behind you. And you're burning these guys for five to seven yards, on, you know, on, on an open field run. The one thing that like when I evaluated like B. John Robinson, for example, great running back. Everybody knows the capabilities of a B. John Robinson. But the things that, you know, he lacks versus like his teammate Roshan Johnson was, op you know, open field speed. Keep that mentality that you got a, a Mack truck running behind you. So you're playing off your man right there at the top a little bit. Brandon's up here. A little push off. Stick with him the whole time. Now this we, we like to call we like to call this you know feathered feathered touching right here. You, you making sure that you're not drawing the penalty. You turn your head when he turns his head. Noticing that you don't have any other body that's going to be up the seam. The, the same burners on the other side of the field so you know you got him in a one-on-one -on -one matchup also opposite opposite side of the field the safety is there so you know you have to stick on this guy the whole time and man and wow he, he pretty much just threw it right to you you know the receiver was not ready for that I mean, obviously an arcing ball with, with no speed or touch on it 
But good, good, good job to recognize that. Oh man, if he didn't come up for that tackle, you probably wouldn't have been gone. We've already seen you put the burners on already. All right, so you taking another handoff, taking it to the outside. Was there any room on the inside here? Nope. You got two linebackers over here. Take it to the outside. The outside is your friend. Sidelines are your friend. Juke inside. You see nobody on this side of the field, so I would immediately try to get to this sideline. Let's see what happens. Well, that works too. <laughs> you got purple jerseys around you. That's that's good enough as well. Really good play. Dude, it's got big play potential, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Didn't see it. Okay, you're playing this side. You're playing off. Ooh, your your back pedal key is a little a little bit of work. What you don't want to do with your footwork, you want to you want to stay low with this guy the whole time, right? You want to stay low with this guy the whole time because you don't know what could happen. Get squared up. And nice, an interception came out of it. I just want you to be fluid in your in your motion. You know, you're you're, you're kicking to the outside, which is fine. But as as you see here, the reason why you don't want to kick is exactly what I'm about to show you. Your front foot is right in front of the route. But let's say that this guy was coming up and he was running some type of choice route like this, right? Where he's coming around, he's acting like this is gonna be an outside throw or you know, to pull one inside uh, to get to the sideline and go right up on a nine route. If he's pulling outside, you're probably fine. But you have to always assume that these guys are trying to juke you within, you know, a, a, a five yard spread. If he's getting around here and he would have burnt you inside. Your your body's completely turned this this way, right? But as the play turned out, he stopped. You probably could have caught you outside. And if this ball would have been thrown right here, you probably could have got called for a holding or a pass interference. So just keep in mind on that. One hand is your friend. One hand jab to the side. But the reason why this works is because you kept inside leverage on the whole time the, versus his outside leverage and you come up for the pick. It's a great play. another rep from you here on punt return all right get it right up field stick to the outside don't want to fumble notice where your hand placement is with the ball it's a good play another toss play we go back and watch that all right, so if we're looking at this this line, obviously you have a hot man here. You got to worry about this edge coming up and blowing up this play. Uh, let's just say he did stick to the left tackle. Maybe this, you know, outside linebacker could get here. Maybe this middle linebacker pill. So that's that's a lot to think about, you know, for you and the quarterback. So your job is to make sure. That you're staying as close to the you know this is something that you can work on with distance with, with the tosses and what i want to encourage you to uh better teams might blow this up but also you had you had somebody pulling was that a, was that a pull there yeah so that was so you got 12 personnel he's definitely got to find the guy to block Steph, got to find a guy to block and he's got to identify this guy or either chip the edge and stay back while you get the toss. 
because this could have been nasty work right here 55 is trying to catch up to you and you stay in bounds for the run i wonder what the flag was for get right up filled good stuff we go another run by you right here take another run up up north gets around nice little juke move love the hand placement of where the where the ball is you you understand this fully that's a for some reason that's a hard thing for for guys to grasp is you know the ball placement uh make sure i get back to my spot here is the ball placement see you know the left hand or the left arm has got the got the ball versus the left side of the sideline and then right outfield All right, last rep right here. Nice, gets inside and burst. Man, it's a great play. All right, guys, so there you have it for as much film that I could watch. Some of the plays were, you know, kind of the same things. Um, but the, the unique plays that I did see, especially from him at corner, has a lot of great tendencies. Very, very smart with the ball and also has like a third eye what i mean by third eye is he's able to identify the play and understands his fundamentals now the most impressive part of his game is his i believe him playing running back i mean i i think that you play both at an extremely high clip for where you are right now getting into the weight room i would probably get to a, like a track and field type of situation if that's not what you're already doing or you know get with a speed coach or something because the speed is already there but if you can make yourself even faster it's going to make people miss even more while you know trying to put on size at the same time you want to be as close to that four or five as that you are right now while putting on size uh, so that's why I say it's important to get like a speeding coach or, or speed coach or, you know, learning a lot of speed drills and things like that. But hey, man, both, you know, even in your, in your kick and punt return, um, I, I think it's really good. But I think where you shine most likely is being a running back. Your cornerback, you're very instinctual. Um, I, I just wish your footwork was as smooth as when you're playing running back. I think your open field speed and things like that are is fantastic. Um, if you keep that mindset of knowing, knowing where to put the ball when, when you're cradling the ball down the field, you already have that. Keep the same mentality as if there was somebody running right behind you that could tackle you at any moment. Um, a lot of guys make that mistake even at the next levels. And, uh, you know, it always boggles my mind why they do. But thanks, Brandon, for sending me your film, man. Uh, can't wait to hear nothing but good things about you because I'm in this area. So I'll definitely be looking for your name in the local newspaper and things like that. I think you're you're totally going to have some offers that come your way for sure. Um, you know, just like your, you know, your old teammates, I, I think you all had had something to offer. But, you know, you, you're special, man. I, being able to play both sides of the ball as well that you do, um, you, you're going to you're going to have a lot to uh, look forward to and I, I think the you know as long as you keep the same mentality put the put the you know one foot forward uh, make sure your, your grades are good um, I'll do my best to make sure that this film gets out there so you know hopefully you get your first couple offers man but thanks Brandon again and again if you, anybody wants their film review please hit me in the DMs on any social media platform ECG underscore FB FB as in football and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode and the next kid that I review. Take it easy, guys.